this is getting yeah this is getting good oh jesus okay Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time we're playing Broken Through. And let's see if they give us the story lit. Basically, our friend went missing a long time ago. We have all of his stuff and we're going to go searching for him. Because we think he's not dead. Yeah, there we go. Ava Williams' son, Leo Williams, went missing. Countless investigations and searches took place, but no glimpse of where he went was found. Seven years after the incidents, Ava Williams got a letter saying that Leo Williams was declared legally dead since they never found any evidence as to where he went to where he is now. So yeah, it sounds about that. It's an uh, interesting story. We're looking for our missing kid. Kind of makes you wonder what happened to him. Well, that should be everything. Thank you for stopping by. I know Leo would have wanted you to have some of his stuff knowing how close you two were. But anyway, I guess I'll head back inside now. Drive safe, okay? Yeah, all right there, Miss Williams. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, let's get all these boxes up on the tr truck. Okay. Yeah, it looks like this does like the weird screen vignetting filter thing, which I didn't see an option to turn off, which was mildly disappointing, but oh well. All right, cool. Well, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. I'm not going to end up in, like, some sort of Silent Hill-esque nightmare. So what's going to be the story here? I wonder where he went. Did he like, get killed? Did he end up in... I was looking at the itch page a little bit, and yeah, I was able to see that there is... Cool. Um, I don't know how much of this music I'm going to actually be able to keep in. I might actually just not monetize this video, to be honest. Yep, yeah, it'll it'll have to depend if it's uh yeah if it's gonna flag too much we'll have to see. But yeah, so I wonder did he like get taken somewhere? Was he involved in something? Yeah, I mean that's not really a lot to go on. People go missing all of the time. Yeah, people go missing basically constantly. I'm feeling them midnight munchies. Oh yeah, I can sympathize, especially if you're helping someone move all day. Stop by 11.7 and get a bag of chips before driving home. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. I should probably make sure I'm staying within the, uh... Within the lines on the road just to make sure. Okay, what a Something's gonna run out of... Actually, I want to see... How quick does it take to stop? Oh, wow. Okay, so... Like, if I hit backwards, we, we just stop. Alright, that's good. So, 182 meters away... And it looks like this might be the turn. Oh, wait, what the heck? You know, it, it always seems weird to me whenever I encounter a turn like that in a road. Like, when I was growing up, there was a neighborhood near me that just had a turn like that. But, like, it, it was, like, really tucked away in the back, and you basically never stopped for it. Though I don't even think there was a... I think there was a stop sign on one side, because technically the road, like, eventually led to a... Uh, to a major, like, intersection that had a, a stoplight. But yeah, it was just, it's always weird to me to see. Okay, well, here we go, going on to 11-7. Eh, uh, yeah, this is good enough parking. Probably not good enough parking, actually. That's an atrocious parking job, but... Oh, never mind, I guess we fixed it. Here we go. Hey, yeah, cool. Let's go on in. Let's go see what's inside. Hopefully there's not, like, a weird skinless person behind the counter. I walk in and there's a dude in a KKK robe chilling there. He's like, ah, hello. It's like, uh, hi. Okay, so what did they want? They wanted chips? Uh, you know what? Let's... I'll be basic. I'll go get some Cheetos. I don't really want baked beans at all. Okay, this should be good. Oh, wait, how, how did they just spell chip? Purchase? Was it purse chish? What? Hey, I'm getting these chips. Alright, let's see here. It'll be two dollars. But hold it. Do you really want to buy that bag of chips? It barely has any chips, just there. Uh, yeah? Maybe I could interest you in buying my own brand that I'm working on. Mm, no thanks. Jordan's Jolly Jipper. 0% air, 100% chip. Even made a commercial for it. No, I'm, I'm okay, Jordan. I don't want your multi-level marketing nonsense. I don't think I'm interested, sorry. Do you want to see the commercial? Maybe it'll change your mind. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine, I'll be nice. 
I'm gonna get knocked out watching this. This guy sucks at making commercials, my god. Don't quit your day job, buddy. What the F? Please buy it. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's go ahead and let's go buy his mushroom potato chips. Why are there pieces of wood here? Yeah, let's go buy his druggy chips. Hang on, though. A bag that's 100%... That would literally... It would just be a block of chip. That sounds awful. That'd be like a really bad french fry. What the F? Ah, uh, sure. All right. Thank you. I'll give it to you for a dollar. Special friend price. Winky fa... Oh, God. All right, so it's three dollars for the two bags of chips. Ah, uh, sure. All right, thank you. I knew I was a good businessman. No, you're actually terrible. I'm doing this because you have the weird crazy eyes, and I think you'll stab me if I say no. Anyway, have a good day. Bye. Okay. I don't trust you in even the slightest. Okay, we're, we're getting out of here. I don't trust this. Okay, so what are the odds? Is there like one of the, uh... Let's head home. Actually, what is that deal that's been going on recently? There's like the... They're not called Air Pods. What are they called? Is it Air... It's Air Tags, right? By Apple? Yeah, I think it's the air tags that people have, like, been apparently been finding buried in their vehicles and stuff, where people have been tracking them. Yeah. Yeah, supposedly, like, some sort of human trafficking-related nonsense. I don't know. Hard, hard to know these days how much stuff is actually real or not, but... Yeah, it's, uh... I, I imagine there's gonna be either, like, an air tag in my vehicle. I don't like... Actually, you know what, though? I guess, like, there is no backseat. I really just have to worry about what's next to me. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, but yeah, like, maybe it's an air tag, or maybe it's something else. Yeah, I'll have to go ahead and see. Why does it seem like the car is, like, kind of jerky, too? It seems weird. I know I actually, when I was looking at the settings for the game, they actually had it defaulting to 30 FPS. I did boost it to 60 in the settings menu, so I wonder if maybe... We'll have to see. Yeah, I, I wonder if maybe it's like jerking because it's like having a slight optimization issue. Kind of interesting though. I didn't expect to like drive around this much. Or if I did, I expected to like hit something. All right. Let's yeah. Let's try to drive safe. Do I see anything coming? Park here. No. Okay. So. Nice-ish home, at least. Yeah, we got ourselves a house. We got ourselves... Yeah, a decent parking job. This isn't a bad area. It's not super secluded, but there's, there's you know, a little bit of privacy between homes and such. Which is nice. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Oh, actually, I wonder if I should grab the boxes. Maybe I should head back up. Maybe I should go grab the boxes. Based on a recurring childhood nightmare. Oh, goody. Oh, that reminds me of the, uh, the Fears to Fathom series, which are, like, supposedly based on real stories and stuff. I wonder... What? Okay, that's enough TV for tonight. Ah, uh, you know what? I should probably eat the chip, shouldn't I? Let's see what he says. Do they say anything about it? No, I I guess not. Also, boy, this is a depressing home. Jesus. Like, my home is relatively barren in terms of that stuff, but, like, I, I like really open layouts. I don't just have individual rooms that are empty. Yeah, may as well empty the boxes before going... What did that say? Food Fumbler 4000? Frying Pan? Also, what the heck am I like... 
Am I a midget or am I playing as a little kid? Uh, yeah, I like uh, this shouldn't be this tall comparatively. Also, what kind of psychopath keeps the windows open like this in their room? Like, if you want to keep them all the way open, fine. You want to keep all the way closed, but don't do this weird, like, partial nonsense. What the heck? Minmo cat food? Okay. I guess? Newly made bed. Huh. Alright, did we, like, recently move in here? What on earth? Well, whatever. So the game said to go put away the boxes, right? Posters. Oh, okay. Cool. Um... A game? What? Fourth World? I should give it a try on my computer. Yeah, I'll do that in a second, but let's go look at the others. Ugly Clothes. Yeah, gee, thanks, uh, what was his name? Leo? And a bunch of books. Okay, that would actually be somewhat valuable. But yeah, ugly clothing, that's just clutter. Books are mostly clutter and posters are clutter, so... Then again, I guess, like, who the heck even has, uh... Yeah, who the heck even has, like, physical disc games anymore? I guess, like, I know some people probably do, but... Boy, this is old, too. Yeah, look at that PC design. Okay. Arrow keys to navigate. Enter to interact. Cool, cool. Take a quick drink here. So let's see, who made this? Is it gonna air out or something? Tom Thomas. One of the unlucky people has like two first names for his name, alright. Okay. Alright, so I actually do have to use the arrow keys to do this. There is no crouch, there is no jump to the best of my ability. Alright, what are you gonna do? You gonna jump scare me? Hello? I have a choice, do I? Okay. What's the choice? Oh, oh okay, I guess yeah, I thought you were gonna give me a choice, but... I'll... I'll write? Sure. I just realized that I need to adjust my, my headphone volume there. Also, did it get darker? Yeah, it got darker. Hold on. What the heck? Oh, you look creepy. Actually, one second. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so I don't know how many of you are aware. My, uh, I'm pretty sure that my graphics card is actually just outright dying. Because my, my second monitor when I'm playing these games, like, stutters and freezes. So I can't actually tell if it's still going or not. Which is worrying. Hello, random creepy stranger. Don't continue down this path. Okay, cool. You know what? Uh that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to you. Weird head yeah, weirdo with your jacked up head. You know, honestly, I kinda feel like the 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 little scan line effect there probably isn't something that I would I, I'd like to see that maybe removed. Like, I don't get the point of having this sort of forced vignetting going on. Yeah. Because, like, we're not recording everything to the best of my ability. Or to the best of my knowledge, we're not recording the entire game. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I have to continue down the path. Wonderful! Can I really not, like, sprint or move any faster? Jesus, what is it, like an NES game? Basically looks like it. It's one of those like, oh, it's the spooky haunted Nintendo game. And it's like, okay, cool story, I guess. All right, come on. Let's go. Yeah, I, I kind of, you know, okay, so developer, uh, setting aside like the aesthetic stuff, maybe for something like this, maybe only have us return back one or two screens. Yeah, because having to walk across all of them, it, it really does just kind of like wreck the tension. Okay, so I guess I can't listen to the creepy gentleman. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of wondering, like, what's gonna happen here. Also, I just I never, I don't really pay attention to the background. Is anything changing in the background? Oh, that's horrible. Okay. Well, I guess something did change in the background. Beware of the man in the coat. 
Okay. I, I, I will be where the man in the coat, in fact. I will very much be where the creepy man in the coat. What, is he gonna, like, appear in front of me or something and I'm gonna just have to, like, leave again? Be like, F this? Huh. Okay, time to leave. Nope, I can't leave. Okay. Hey, buddy, what you doing out here? What's going on? I'm moving very, very slow. Stop, I'm like your computer? What are you doing, Jack Wagon? He has broken through. Okay, well, you know what? I have a shotgun, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna sit here and call the police. So now the real world is like a game. What the fudge? Screw this, I'm getting the gun under my bed. Absolutely not, this is a stupid idea. Don't exit your room, you jack wagon. Unless you're like me and you have a gun in every room of the house and you want a stockpile. Oh, hello, okay. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, I, I have nightmares and stuff about, like, home invasions and shit, but... What does that say? The game has just begun. No, I think the game's been going for about 15 minutes there, sport. Yeah, okay, so he is... Okay, so what, like there's some sort of spirit in the game? Finish four of his levels, or undergo a fate worse than death. <clears throat> okay, guy kids, this is why you don't play random things, because, you know, computer discs can have viruses and stuff. So, yeah, probably don't just load random, like, USB drives and CDs into your PC. Okay, to finish the level, locate the door. Alright, so we're back into literal generic indie horror game territory. So, I wonder, is it going to be, like, heavily reliant on jump scares, or what? Beware of the entities. Uh, sure. Yes, I, I will be very, very cautious about them, and I'm sure nothing bad will happen, and everything will be perfectly fine. So I'm going to take a quick drink, my voice is starting to go a little bit. Okay. So, entities, entities, entities. Well, I, I guess we're going to level one, hopefully that doesn't have many of these entities. What do you say? As I crossed the bridge, I had tears in my eyes, and I simply imagined myself diving into the water and drowning myself. Tom Thomas. Sounds like Mr. Thomas is having a little bit of a depression day. Yeah, you should probably, like, maybe seek a doctor or something about that there, buddy. Because, yeah, that's not very good. Also, seriously, kids, why also don't eat random BS that strangers give you? Because, uh, yeah, these are probably, like, heavily laced with shrooms or something in the chips. Okay. Well, this is already more advanced than I... Level 1, the bridge. Already more advanced than I was giving it credit for, that's for sure. Yeah, I was really expecting this game to, like, be, a. Uh I don't- I guess I don't really know exactly what I expected. I expected it to basically have finished already. Like, I expected the whole thing with the- the face and then... You know, oh, you go ahead and you end up, uh... Like, it, it summons something and then... It breaks into your home and grabs you the jump scare. Okay, I'm hearing whispering and I'm not a fan of that. You know what, I probably shouldn't look at the water. Oh, what, what is the... Isn't there like an SCP or something that has... Isn't there like a scary story or some nonsense passed with care? Okay. Where there's a thing of like, you do not recognize the faces in the water, you do not recognize the faces in the water. The heck? Why are you like floating there? And you give off a shadow too. 
That's concerning. Alright. Uh, this is a stupid idea. Let's do it. Oh, look. Somebody hanging. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a problem. I uh, fudge. Alright, we should probably just keep on moving. This is a bad space. Pass with care, and those are either blood or rust marks. I don't know what I'm worried about here at this point. Just kind of watching my footing. I'm expecting there to be like missing chunks of floor more than anything. Yeah, and again, that. Oh, you know what? I That would actually be a really interesting like VR game idea. Have something like this, but like track it based on player camera location or something where you have a. Uh, Hello, why wow, you died badly? Yeah, have it where if the player looks to the sides or something, or like looks quote unquote at something they're not supposed to, it triggers the attack or it triggers like a hunt or whatever. Yeah, that would actually be a really interesting idea. I wonder how that would work. I wonder if that would be viable. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. Let's see what we got coming up. I. Oh, well, that's interesting. So. This is a stupid idea. Don't jump this. Wow, you have serious jumping potential. My god. Uh, but no, I was gonna say, this is actually another one of those games that if you move sideways, you actually move a little bit quicker. Which, it's, it's always kind of funny. You know, I don't really want to, like, sequence break the game, but. Okay, well, here's a door. Alright. Hopefully, this is the door to leave and this isn't something else. Throw this out the door to like a pit full of bees, because that would suck. Alright, what? Oh. <clears throat> okay, well we're just here. Alright. Well, on to level two, I guess. So what, am I just like... Okay, and that explains the weird door. Yeah, the thing sticking out of the wall, got it. Yeah, alright, so what sort of depressive, like... Oh, what, what was the site that everybody used to go on and whinge on when they were, like, fucking ten years old? Sometimes I wish I could just close my eyes and then be in a better place when I open them again. <clears throat> okay, again, I'm just gonna reiterate something I've said a few times. If you find yourself in a position like this where you're just, like, miserable with your life and... You don't need to, and like, you, you don't even know where to start to fix things. There's two things you can do. You can either start taking care of all of the little shit that you're definitely putting off, or you can go ahead and do a big, drastic change. I did a big, drastic change by moving to another state, which was arguably a bad choice. But, you know, that's probably the thing to do. But yeah, like, just do something different. Get out of there, more or less. Okay, there's a whole bunch of colored balls. Oh, am I going to have to count how many of them there are? Yes, I am. Okay, so red, green, blue, yellow. Red, green, blue, yellow. Okay, so let's do... Okay, I actually need to... God, I don't have a piece of paper here with me, do I? Just grabbing one quick. Okay, so... Make a real quick note here, so red, green, blue, yellow. So, I'm just gonna really quickly make like little tally marks. So one red, or what the hell am I saying? One blue, there's one green here. Okay, I see a red. See another blue. Got ourselves a green. Got ourselves another blue. Got ourselves another red. Got ourselves a blue and a red. Then one yellow. So it's three, two, four, one, it looks like. Let's see. Honestly, that probably was a fairly guessable one, but let's let's try it out. Three, two, four, one. Okay. Level 2, the staircase. Oh goody, SCP... what is this? 087, was it? You know, I've always, like, 
I've always liked the idea of that SCP. It just kind of sucks that it always seems to end with like this spook. I'd love it if it was more integrated. There was like more to do within those games. Close them immediately when you see him. What? Okay. All right. Should I not just like keep them closed? Or is that a way to get hurt? Uh, hang on, I just ought to check something. Oh, I can't move when I close my eyes, okay. You know what, alright, this is, this has started to shoot the tension up a bit. Okay, there's a human pressing left click to interact. I feel like, what game did I play recently that had that? Was that Lazarette? I think that might have been. I feel like I played a game recently that had that as the mechanic. Where left click was your primary interact key. So I'm also wondering something else. How... How easy is it going to be to see whatever it is? Like, am I going to... Is it going to be like right in my face or... Well, I can hear something kind of squidging around down there. Hmm. Take a second here. Yeah, like... What... Is it going to be obvious or is it going to be a thing of like... You know, there's something dead ahead of me and I need to stop and wait? Especially in games that have like this very aggressive fog system, you know, it's always kind of hard to tell... What you need to look at. Yeah, what you need to be worried about. Okay, a missing poster. I don't like the eyes. Yeah, really not liking the eyes there. Boy, you know, this, this tension just skyrocketed. You know, the tension on this one did just skyrocket quite a bit. And I'm... Kind of loving and hating it at the same time. Boy, I am tense as hell. Okay. Okay. This is getting... Yeah, this is getting good. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, so it's it's much more flagrant in your face. Alright. I... Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's much more obvious. Alright, it's not like a subtle event, it looks like. So there's probably going to be several of those. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Eh, okay. So I'm just like, like, yeah, like don't get me wrong, my my heart rate did kind of just like shoot up there, and I was like, oh god. But yeah, I uh, another missing poster. Is that the same one, or does that look different? Yeah, more missing posters. I wonder who that is. Is that, like, my friend, or is that me? Yeah. I wonder. I'm like, yeah, what's with all the trash bins? Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick drink. I'm just gonna keep my eyes closed while I do that. I mean, come to think of it, wouldn't it be smarter to just do that? <clears throat> anyway, wouldn't it be smarter to keep your eyes closed? I'm just like moving a <clears throat> moving like a a very cautious pattern. Okay. Oh no. Don't let them through. Okay. So it's it's the seven deadly sins. No, stop that. You ass clown. No. No. You stop this right now. Come on, get out of here. Look, I don't... Oh my god, I'm gonna... Don't make me get the belt, I will slap you. Oh, they, uh, this is actually a really interesting concept, if nothing else. Okay, so that's weird. So they like... 
I wonder, can they only move when the door is open? Is that what's going on here? Oh, Jesus Christ. The heck? Okay, I thought I saw something there. Okay, so all of you gonna open again, probably? What the fudge? Okay, uh, sure, let's get out of here. Okay, I, I will say that staircase area was actually supremely tense. That was really well done. Uh, up until the scare, then it was then it was kind of a little bit like, eh, okay, fine. Yeah, that because kind of like once he had the the event occur, um, and not really in a bad way. Like it wasn't overused. It just kind of was like, okay, now I've seen the scare. It's it's like in a game with a death state. Once you know the death state, you're pretty much. Yeah. All right. So when me and my wife got divorced, I could still feel myself crawling after her, and the darkness crawling after me. Well, that's a problem to say the least. You again, man. You're probably suffering from severe depression. You should probably see a psychologist if possible, or just like get out of there. I mean, I'll admit one of the big, uh, I guess I'll say like depressive triggers for me after stuff kind of ended that like eight year relationship that I had was, um, I mean, it, it was the fact that I was still living in the home. Like, yeah, maybe it's just time to get the hell out of there, buddy. Because you're not doing yourself any favors. You're just not. Level three, the vents. Oh, goody. Oh, I'm sure nothing bad is going to happen here. I'm sure nothing terrible is going to happen inside of the creepy vents that are very claustrophobic. Okay, so this is weird. So this is all based on, like, a dream. What sort of random... Especially, like, a recurring dream? What the hell? What kind of stuff is this kid dreaming about? Like, don't get me wrong, I've had some messed up dreams when I was a kid, but, like... Yeah, this is... This is, like, a weirdly specific dream to have. Uh, I don't know. Actually, I'm good. Did any of you guys ever have the thing where you, like... Where you seem to have, like, a, a nightmarish dream of some kind, and then you... I lost my train of thought there. Yeah, we have this nightmarious dream, but you, like, find yourself basically continually looping the moment. I have that all... Oh, no. Okay, I'm just gonna keep moving. I have a feeling there's something bad behind me. Um, but yeah, like, where you have this... It'll keep on looping the moment, like, as you're trying to stop what is happening. You know, yeah, like, I'll have a thing where there's, like, you know, maybe this creepy ghost or something, this creepy monster moving towards me, and I'll, like keep on closing the door, but then I'll get teleported back five seconds prior and I have to keep on doing it, but every time the monster gets closer. Yeah. Also, I'm very much a big believer that if you're having nightmares, you're probably having things that are... Well, well you've probably eaten late at night, but if that's not the case, then you probably have things that are left unfinished in your life. I'm very much a believer of that. I kind of want to look behind me. But at the same time, I feel like if I do that, I'm just going to die. And then I'll have to redo all this. And I, I don't know how far back it puts me. I'm going to expect that it probably puts me at the start of the level. Which would be mildly disappointing to have to redo all of this. Okay, is this going to be the dead end? It's not. Okay. God, I wonder if there actually is a dead end in this. Yeah, I wonder if there is actually a dead end position that we can go into. And, like, just get screwed and have to get killed. That would, would kind of suck for a chase sequence. Unless there's, like, very obvious areas that are dead ends, or if the game is very, very generous with... with giving us places to go. Yeah, I know that was, uh... Oh, what was... I was watching a playthrough of something fairly recently. Ah, oh, well, I just broke my legs. Okay, there we go. Um... Yeah, I was watching a play house. Oh, that's actually oh, that that's actually pretty clever. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, I was watching a playthrough of uh, I think it was the Poppy Playtime games, and I remember seeing that. Yeah, that that was like a very big problem with those. Was that there were so many of these chase sequences that had all this cool stuff going on, but if you tried to even look to the side for things, or if you just made like a wrong guess and weren't acting perfectly, you were just dead. And that always seemed like a really not fun way of designing a chase. I'm done. I finished the game. And now I feel much better. I feel like a different person. The man in the coat. 
So Tom Thomas basically went insane and designed a spooky cursed game. All right. But again, why? Like if you're, well, I don't know. I guess like, yeah, when I suffered some pretty big depressive hits, I very much would have a lot of stage two, what? Yeah, I guess I would have like a lot of attempts to do stuff. Oh boy, level four of the fourth world though. So this is, this is this, okay. Boy, that is actually a really, that's a really in your face approach, isn't it? Hey buddy, what are you gonna tell me? Whatever you told me the first time, we are all as human as you are. You're our only hope to save us all. Tom Thomas has been corrupted by the entity, including his game. The entity transformed his creation into an endless loop in which Tom Thomas relives his darkest times in life over and over again through each level. The entity feeds off of torturing the innocent by luring people into this corrupted game. But if you bring Tom Thomas back, you bring all of us back. All right, so what do I have to do? I have an orb. Is this gonna give me like some pretty sweet little blaster powers? Boy, that dude's face looks weird. Okay, Barney Gray missing since 5th of January, 1992. Yeah, that dude's eyes feel like they're way too far apart. Oh, wait, these are the people in the game. Maybe? Okay, who's this? Are we gonna go see, like, Leo Anderson? Is he the most recent one? Carlos Bull. Missing since 12th of September 93, last seen buying a game. That dude looks really old for just some random dude buying a game in the 90s. I don't know, maybe he was going through a rough time in his life, but... Okay, so which one of these is gonna have, like, a horrible, horrible picture? Okay, so there's that. Dave Owens, missing since the 3rd of May 94, last seen in his bedroom. How does somebody see someone in their bedroom? Your neighbor looking through and being like, Ah, what's Mr. Owens doing today? You have like the creepy voyeur girl next door who's like, Ah, I love him and I'll have him forever. I don't trust this one. This one looks weird. Is this gonna be Leo? Or is this gonna be Thomas? Leo Williams, missing since 2nd of March, 95, last seen playing a game by a lake. So why are all of their faces jacked up? That's the weird thing to me. Yeah, why are all of their faces so messed up? Okay, what do you have to say to me? Many people who have gone missing have actually just ended up here. Do you know anything about Leo Williams? Ah yes, he's the one who has gotten the farthest in the game out of all of us. Are you too close by any chance? Well, I'd like to think so. He was my best friend. He went missing seven years ago, and we all thought he was dead by now. Well, in that case, I could help you catch up to him. There's a glitch on the map that will spawn a door. This door will send you back to your reality for a very short amount of time. If you manage to make it to the same place where Leo was taken into the game, you will end up at the same level as Leo when the man in the coat brings you back into the game. To do the glitch, all you need to do is spam the spacebar when you're a bit further out. Also, be cautious when you're back in your own reality. The man in the coat might try to kill you for breaking the rules. Good luck. Okay. So I'll have to avoid... Oh, that's probably why I have the driving mechanic. Yeah, it's probably unknown error. Okay. Stop that. How would I... How would you kiss my ass, man in the coat? Ooh, I'm depressed. I'm gonna go ahead and kill people. Yeah, okay, buddy. You want... You got... You're not even, like, fun... Well, actually, I don't want to say fun, because Jigsaw's a piece of shit, but... Yeah, you don't even do it in, like, an interesting way. You just do it in a really stupid way. Okay, I need to go to... I, I assume the Anderson house, right? Yeah, drive to Leo's last known... Lo oh, wait, no, that's right. That's not... No, he was by a lake, wasn't he? Okay, here. And that, you know, that actually explains the kind of good driving controls, too. 
Alright, so I... Well, hopefully it doesn't spawn in next to me. Also, I feel like I should have a little more urgency than I'm moving about 15 miles an hour here. Okay. You know, I wonder something. Can I just hit the dude with the coat? Oh, would that be not be glorious if I could just run his ass over when he's out here? Keep your eyes on the road? Okay. Uh, you should probably do that anyway there, buddy, but sure. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, okay, so he's not... Is he? He's not gonna manifest in front of me. He's gonna just, like, send in his little spiky death tendrils. Okay, fair enough. God, I'm, I'm serious. I'm driving so slow. Yeah, it feels really weird that the car is, like, lurching along. Oh, hello, that's a big one. Yeah, it feels very, very weird that the car, it, it, it moves, like, in jerky mo movements. Yeah, it's, it's kind of odd. I'm not sure why that would be the case. Yeah, it's almost like the car, like, isn't properly set up. Okay, okay. Well, he's making it slightly less convenient to go places, that's for sure. Yeah, because I can just, uh, you have to, like, kind of weave around. All right, we're over, yeah, we got 360 meters to go. Oh, my God. Listen, D-bag in the trench coat, go put on your fedora and go hassle some woman for, I don't know, wearing shorts or whatever it is that you people do. And leave me the heck alone, you frickin' nerd. Get out of here. I don't want to deal with your garbage anymore. I'm tired of dealing with it. I'm gonna go bully you, I'm gonna go take your lunchman, I'm gonna throw your hat in a lake. Okay, 200 meters, let's go, let's go, Bonus. So, when's gonna be the big jump scare then? I assume that he's gonna be soon, because you're probably gonna have to sprint to the lake, right? God, that is a really interesting idea, though, that we'd have to, like, we'd have to go to the last known location of the person we're trying to link up with. Yeah, you know, I will say, this is actually an interesting concept. Yeah, this is, uh... It, like, it, it is just very interesting conceptually of how how the game works, I guess. And having people like stuck in this loop to try to stop it. What on earth? This is still... How would this thing even be working after seven years? Unless it's not, and this is the game being like, LOL, gotcha. Yeah, then it's like, oh no, you forgot the power cable. You're going back in, and it's like, oh boy. Okay, a uh, bright white screen. Thank God it's not a super dark room. Hey, player two joined the level. Hello, weird lake of possibly blood, possibly water. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, this is, it's an interesting effect. Oh no, what's going on? What's happening here? That's a very creepy effect. Okay. Should I just, like, keep following the lights, I guess? I, I guess I'll just keep on doing this. I assume that the entity or whatever is probably being a cheating bastard. Oh, well, I guess in for the... Oh. Hey, Leo. How you doing, buddy? Leo? What's going on? Please help me, Evan. I don't trust this. Or maybe I should trust this. Get back here with my friend, Mother Trucker. I'm gonna smack the bejesus out of you. Come on. Okay. There's a lake. And this is... This is obviously some sort of boss arena, right? Kinda reminds me of the fight at the end of Quake, actually. The man of the code. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, what am I trying to do for you? Alright, I should probably... Oh, an unknown force is holding him back. Okay, okay. So what... 
Save the corrupted souls to save Thomas. All right, so what do I have to do? Do I have to, okay, so I saved the four souls. And now what? Uh, tell me you guys are gonna spawn me in like a rocket launcher or something, please. Let me show this dude who's a boss. Let me get some like weapons grade antivirus here. Level 32, despair. Find Bar, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so I gotta find Barney Gray. I guess, okay. I mean, yeah, standard standard maze solution tactics here, I guess. Yeah, let's just kind of stick to an outer wall and eventually we'll probably find the answer. Although it does seem like this kind of loops back in on itself, so maybe not. Now, I wonder how many games actually do manage to break that particular solution set. Like, I know that there's some games that have, uh... Oh, like, what, what's the really famous one? I think it was called Vanish. Which, actually, I remember downloading way back when I started doing this. I was gonna record it, and then I tried it, and I was like, eh, I wasn't sure this would be interesting with... how, like, low quality the recordings were at the time. Um... But yeah, I remember, uh, getting that, and I think that one does actually break... the standard May Solution tactics, because it has stuff... It has the map, like, semi-randomly generate. Yeah. It kind of breaks the system that way. Which always felt like a very mean way of doing things, but... Okay, so there's nothing there. God, it is dark as hell. Can I, like, maybe get a little bit of a flashlight or something in here? Maybe a lighter? Maybe a... I don't know, yeah, give me, like, a flamethrower. Yeah, or see, like, there's these, there's even these passive lights. Actually, I wonder if these lights are intentional. I wonder if these lights are supposed to be here to indicate the path, or if these lights are here to indicate where we're not supposed to go. Yeah, I keep on looking up, expecting, like, a... Expecting some sort of a... a, a marker, I guess. A place to go. Okay, there's still nothing... I, uh, hey Barney, do you want to like? Hey, look, we're gonna play a game of Marco Polo, okay? I'll yell Marco, you yell Polo, and we're just gonna try to get closer to each other. Oh, hey, uh, Barney. Hey, buddy, what you doing here? I can't move. Why should I even try to progress anymore? I'm just gonna end up dead in another level. Well, you try anyway because you're otherwise you're just gonna sit here. I can help you if you help me. I don't need any effing help. I'm fine with staying here. No, you're not. I can get you home. Home? Yes. I just need you to trust me. Do you trust me? I mean, I've just met you, but sure. Yeah, obviously I trust you, random stranger. This is... Okay. Oh, he does trust us. Okay. This is really interesting. This is all, like, metaphorical for depression, basically. Okay. One out of four souls saved. Level something. Dementia. Help Carlos Bull. Okay. Oh, maybe that's what... He was old. I feel lost. Okay. Let me try something. Can I go... Yeah, let me go play your... Let me go play a song. Let me go play you some music here. Oh. I remember this. I used to listen to this tune all the time. Ha, the kids always used to beg me to turn down the volume. And me and the guys used to play cards while listening to this. Ha ha ha. Oh, that's kind of nice. We're just, yeah, we're helping him recover his memory, yeah. Dementia is one of those really mean diseases. Those memories warm my soul. Two out of four saved. All right, let's get going. We got two more people to save, and then I'm going to go kick some Wendigo teeth in. Or demon teeth, or whatever. Level 125, depression. Help Dave Owens. All right, Dave. So, speaking of somebody who has fought that demon for over two-thirds of his life. 
Uh, here's my recommendation. Don't put things off. That's really about it. Right? Like, you, you know the things that are bothering you. Try your damnedest to fight them. Leave me alone. Hey, man. Is everything all right? He's gonna probably say it's fine. I'm fine. No. Oh, wow, okay. What's wrong? I don't know. Well, that's actually pretty accurate. I just feel so empty. I hate the feeling. And I can't even explain why I'm feeling it. Hey, listen. There will always be moments in life where you feel as if nothing matters. The feeling that you'll never feel better again. <clears throat> and an urge to give up on everything. But I promise you, it gets better in the end. Please don't isolate yourself. I'm here for you if you'd like to talk. You know, it is amazing how much that helps. I'd like that, actually. Yeah, sure thing, Dave. You're not alone, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, that is actually amazing how much that does help, just to have somebody to to basically so that you feel like you're listened to. It's actually one of the reasons that a lot of a lot of men in particular end up suffering undiagnosed depression and stuff, or having like really really bad what is this grandson safe zone? Yeah, or just having really bad times with it. <clears throat> no, it's uh <clears throat> take another drink here, holy shit. Oh, God. I don't know what's going on in my throat, but... Yeah, um... Having really bad times with it, because quite often, like, men just don't really have those close relationships, especially nowadays. It's a lot harder for people to have those. Uh, again, especially men, because they're often isolated socially. And it's also why men are, uh... You know, I know there's a stat that they're like, Oh, women attempt suicide five times more often than men. It's because men are really, really good at killing themselves. They choose very effective methods of doing it. Hello? Who are you? Hey, Leo. Have I been forgotten, Evan? No, not at all. Did anyone even remember me after I died- after I disappeared? Oh, yeah. You haven't been forgotten at all. I've missed you so much, Leo. And so has everyone else. Interesting. Evan? Yeah, what's up, Leo? Come on, buddy. I want to go home. Well, I'm going to take your ass home, Leo, because I'm not about to let this D-bag get away with this. Four to five souls saved. So we have to save Mr. Thomas, probably? I wonder if we have to save ourselves, too. Save Tom Thomas. The soul of Barney Gray. That's the soul of someone else. And he's just kind of sitting here chilling. All right there, Mr. Man in the Coat. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay a beat down on you. Yeah, you ever heard of a gentleman named the Doom Slayer? Yeah, he goes ahead and he tears people like you into pieces for breakfast. And, uh, yeah, I plan... Why can... What the heck? Why can I not interact with any of these souls? What's going on? Huh, okay, hold on, let me... That is weird, oh yeah, so there's like this... So an, uh, some sort of an error is holding it back. I wonder if that's the remnants of Thomas, then. I wonder if that's the leftover pieces of, like, Thomas's soul holding it. That'd actually be pretty cool. Oh, I can't even go back up there. I thought maybe there was something up top that I needed to do, but... No, it looks like not. Okay. So, and I can't, I can't click away the error. You're a big fella, ain't you? All right, what do we got? Uh, come on. Did I actually, oh, what the heck? What did that say? Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, I see what's going on here. All right. Um, 
Yeah, may maybe, developer, maybe have those have been interactable earlier on. Because I remember looking at those, and I don't, maybe I just didn't get close enough to have them be able to do something. Wow. Eat it, demon. I'm going to kick your ass with the power of positivity. Let's go. Hey, Mr. Thomas, are you in there? Let's have a chat. I got some friends who would like to meet you. And here's everybody. Thank you, Evan. You've not only saved me, but you saved us all. I can now send all of you back to your families. Aren't you coming with us? Am I not coming with you? Oh, okay. Oh, I, I misread that, okay. I'm fine staying here. You've already killed the entity, so by staying here, I can live in peace. Here I can be truly happy. Hmm, I don't know about that. But now I think it's time for you all to return home. Thank you, Evan. Okay, Mr. Thomas. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll let you in here, buddy. I should probably ask what he wants me to do with a disc. Should I just, like, plug it into a machine or a server or something and leave it running? Oh, hey, the door. Let's go home. Let's go home and let's go have a word because we should probably talk to someone about the fact that there are actually demons in magical computer games. That seems like a very important problem. Missing boy found alive after seven years. Okay, there we go. So that was broken through. That was a really good game. Yeah, the uh, the staircase was really tense. I, I did enjoy kind of the atmosphere of the bridge level. <clears throat> uh, the vent one, I feel like, probably was the weakest. Um, but anyway, this was, this was really interesting. It was kind of cool. I, I did not expect this to last as long as it did, nor did I expect this... This person does not exist. Oh, that's right. That's why that, those people look so weird. That's right. That site, I think it uses like an AI algorithm to basically generate people. But like, if you look on the edges, sometimes it makes really effed up. Yeah, really, really effed up stuff. It'll be like an otherwise normal person, but like their ear will be extending down to their jaw or something like that. Yeah, it's actually really interesting, but... Yeah, uh, Jordan CL, great work. I actually really enjoyed this. This was very, very well made. Um, I, I really didn't expect this to take on, like, the whole tone of being a game about depression and, like, all of the myriad mental illnesses people face. Yeah, great job. I had a lot of fun with this. And I hope you keep on making games. I'm definitely going to check out your itch page and see what else you made. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. How did you feel about Broken Through? What did you guys expect from the game? You know, was I the only one who was kind of surprised by this? Or did you expect something to go in like this mental health aspect? Or what did you expect to be the story? I'm curious. And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate it. And for everybody else, thank you very much for watching Broken Through. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.